Okay, I want to uh, do one more thing, and that is to help you fill out that last section of the uh, paper about the yearly pattern of sunlight. It's the very last thing. And all I'm going to do is put the observer at these different latitudes and then run the thing around so you can kind of see what happens. And that should enable you to, to fill in the blanks here with, with your perception, your observations about what happens. So let me start with um, zero degrees. He, the, guy, the observer's at the equator. And we're going to start, let's actually start at the vernal equinox. And you can see the sunlight's coming in at 90 degrees uh, all the time. So it's most direct all day long. And uh, then what happens as we go to the summer solstice is the sunlight comes in at an angle. It, it goes from 90 all the way down to 66.6, .6, but then it comes back to 90 again by the time of the autumnal equinox. And then at the winter uh, solstice, it's down to 66.6 .6 again, but then it comes back. So you can see that the angle the sun makes with the surface never gets greater than about, uh, what would that be, 34 degrees or so, right? Because it's 90 minus 66 but it's usually closer to 90 degrees. So that gives you an idea at the equator. Now, what's, what other angle do we have to do here? Let's see, 23.5 degrees, let's look at that. So I'll run the guy up to 23.5. I'll start again at the summer solstice, I'm sorry, at the vernal equinox, okay? We go, and notice it starts out at 67.2. But now that he's at this latitude, it actually gets more direct by the summer uh, solstice. It's about 90 degrees. So this is the uh, tropic where the sunlight comes in at 90 degrees at the summer solstice. So there you have that. Of course, by the time you get to the autumnal equinox, um, it's back down to 66. When you reach the... Uh, winter solstice, the sun's rays are coming in now at a very st st mm, sharp angle of 43 degrees, so it's dropped quite a lot at that latitude, and then back to 66.6 .6 at, uh, at the vernal equinox. Okay, so let's look at the next latitude. That's 41 degrees. That's about our latitude in Indiana, so we'll go ahead and run this up to 41 degrees. That's at the vernal equinox. Notice it's down to 50 degrees here. Well, when I get to summer, it comes all the way to 70 degrees. It doesn't get to 90. So even at, the no at noon on a summer day, the sun's rays come in not directly. They're at a small angle, about um, 20, 19 or 20 degrees, I guess. Then we get back to the autumnal equinox. We're back to 50 degrees. Then at winter, it gets all the way down to 25 degrees. So the sun uh, coming in at a very glancing angle to the surface, and that's one of the reasons why it gets so darn cold in Indiana. And then here we are back to 50 degrees in, at the vernal equinox. Okay, what if we went really far north? What if we went to 40, or, uh, 66 degrees? Let's go up there. Okay, we're at 66 degrees. Here we are at the vernal equinox still, but we're the angle. The sun's coming in at 25 degrees. That's like deep winter in Indiana, but this is at, at the equinox. This is in the fall. What happens when I get to the summer? The highest it ever gets in the sky is uh, 47.8 degrees. So it only gets to 50. That's kind of like the the fall in Indiana, but that's the high, that's like the maximum summer. Okay, when we get back to the autumnal equinox, the sun's rays are back down to 25, and at the winter equinox, you're right at the cusp of being in the dark all day long. If you, if you look at this picture, let's look at it from this point of view, you can see that as the earth turns, this point is just on the verge of, of being in sunlight, it's in nighttime almost the entire time. It just barely gets any sunlight at all, um, and that's at noon, 
the rest of the day it's pretty darn dark. Okay, and let's, uh, then we go back here to the fall, there we go. And finally, let's look at the last angle, which one is that? 90 degrees north. So if we go to 90 degrees north, you're literally at the North Pole. Boom, here we are at the North Pole. This is the equinox, right? Even at the equinox, the sunlight is barely coming in. If we go to the summer, the maximum angle the sun reaches is only 23 degrees. That's like our winter. This is the maximum summer. Get back to equinox, and we're on the verge of not having any sun at all. But what about the winter? <clears throat> in the winter, this guy is in darkness all day long. And they're in darkness half of the year. Look at that. From the autumnal equinox through the entire winter and back to the vernal equinox, it's only six months of darkness, never any sun. And then, of course, the other side is six months of day, never any night. Because as the year turns, you never get back in the shadow. So life on the North Pole is very, very different. All right, that's all I have for you.